I li let, me, let me say that winning the Nobel Prize is something I recommend very highly. <laughs> it really is a lot of fun. Well, hello and welcome to this edition of What's On My Mind. Um, this is a very special edition. It's an opportunity for me to reflect on one of the very special things about Paradise Valley Community College. And the way I would describe it is where academic excellence and high rigor come together. We're so very fortunate to have Dr. Casey Durande on our faculty, um, who has, over her career, established a relationship with the Nobel Prize winner, Leon Letterman. Unfortunately, in October of this year, Professor Letterman passed away. So I thought it'd be an amazing opportunity for you to learn more about Casey's amazing relationship with Dr. Letterman, his Nobel Prize, and how that impacted academic expectation and rigor for our students here at Paradise Valley Community College. Well, I first met Leon <laughs> quite some time ago, I guess, if you think about it. It's uh, the middle to latter part of the 1980s. And this was at Fermi National Accelerator Laboratory. It's a particle physics laboratory, which is Batavia, Illinois, 40 miles west of downtown Chicago. And I did my undergraduate, graduate postdoc work there. And he was then Fermi Lab's second director. So I didn't really get to know him as a colleague and a good friend until we worked on the same experiment, my postdoc experiment. And this particular experiment was designed to search for asymmetries between matter and antimatter. This was an experiment that Leon performed between 1959 and 1962 with two other colleagues, Melvin Schwartz and Jack Steinberger. They were at Columbia University and there's a, a laboratory on Long Island, New York named Brookhaven National Lab and they had a an accelerator there called the Alternating Gradient Synchrotron. And they knew, theory predicted, that there was a certain type of particle, a neutrino, that existed. And they designed an experiment and it did de de detect another type of neutrino called the muon neutrino. And that helped, that furthered the understanding of something called the standard model of fundamental particles and in interactions. So he actually did a lot of discoveries in terms of particle physics and further the understanding of fundamental particles and interactions. But it was for that particular experiment he won the Nobel Prize and he was awarded that. He along with Melvin Schwartz and Jack Steinberger in 1988 the Nobel Prize. I had a very brief opportunity to meet Dr. Ledman when he was on our campus a number of years ago. And what struck me about his presence here was his embrace of a learning-centered college and also how he leveraged the study of physics to really engage in positive social change in terms of increasing access for young people to get excited about learning, excited about the science. It was a great privilege to have him part of our community many years ago. So we know a lot about the world in which we live, but there are a lot of things about the world in which we live that we don't understand and the challenge of understanding those is very great and important. Uh, we have lots of problems uh, facing us uh, in environmental problems and uh, social problems and economic problems. And, uh, uh, but uh, understanding the world, I think, and understanding the world in which we live in a thorough and deep way is one of the major th tasks we have. And, uh, this is something that uh, mankind has uh, been concerned with for a long time, and it's still there, that we do, we do have so many things we, we need to understand better than we do now. And is there going to be another Leon Letterman again? You know, like Einstein, Letterman, Feynman, these types of people. So yeah, a lot of, a lot of memories, and, but I just feel honored and privileged that I had the, the opportunity to know this man. To, you know, call him my friend. I mean, he, he was amazing. He's absolutely amazing.